Well, ladies and gentlemen, it happened again. In the 2022 European Championships in the 24-hour run, Alexander Sorokin from Lithuania broke his own world record, achieving a distance of 319.6 kilometers, which translates to 198.5 miles. Yeah, that is an incredibly long distance for one single day. It's already considered a pretty huge accomplishment if you're able to run 100 miles in a day, but imagine practically doubling that and running at a pace of 7 minutes and 15 seconds per mile, or 4 minutes and 30 seconds per kilometer. An absolutely remarkable pace to run for one entire day. Now last year, we saw Sorokin set the previous 24-hour record, achieving a distance of 309.4 kilometers, or 192.3 miles. But now, he has increased this record by over 10 kilometers, which is simply amazing. Now, just one week before this record-breaking run, Sorokin ran what he said was an easy half-marathon effort, which he finished in 1 hour and 13 minutes, which is quite the time for an easy run. But clearly, this man's specialty lies in the ultra-marathon distances, especially in the 24-hour mark. Now, seeing this kind of result is clearly impressive, as it reflects one of the greatest ultra runners to ever lace up and compete. But one of the more surprising details of this race is just how he paced this effort. For the opening marathon of this performance, Sorokin hit a time of 2 hours and 50 minutes. This man was already running well under 3 hour pace for the marathon, and even though this opening 26.2 miles was pretty remarkable, the real crazy part was what he did for the remaining 21 hours. Through 8 hours, Sorokin's pace stayed right around 4 minutes per kilometer, as he reached a distance of 117.5 kilometers, or 73 miles after just 8 hours. Continuing on with this incredible streak, Sorokin hit the 10-hour mark at a pace of 6 minutes and 39 seconds per mile. What an absolute legend. After passing through this marker, Sorokin's next official split was at the 20-hour mark, which of course represented a slight decrease in his overall pace, but he was still running just over 7 minutes per mile, and he achieved a distance of 169.7 miles. Some of the more notable splits before this mark included a 100km split in 6 hours and 50 minutes, a 100-mile split in 11 hours and 6 minutes, and a 12-hour split, where he reached a distance of 172.38 kilometers. The pace up front was red hot for Sorokin, and with a finishing distance of 319.614 kilometers, or 198.599 miles, Sorokin again cemented his name as the 24-hour king, and it's honestly not even close. At 40 years of age, Sorokin's endurance abilities and his mental resolve are second to none, and with a world record like this, I can't even imagine anyone challenging this mark for a very long time. Well, with the exception for Sorokin himself, who seemingly always knows how to improve upon his next race. Thanks for watching, everyone, and as always, until next time.